Hey, God bless you, and welcome to The Waiting Room. Today, Veronica will be sharing from her book, Overflowing Communion. So get ready. Here we go. So we're going to do Donning of the Day. So here goes the first page. Donning of the Day. And this is Psalms 118.24. This is the day which the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Meaning that we're going to stop and we're going to reflect upon that. You know, just to think, who would have thought you and I would be here at this moment? Could it be that God has something to say to both of us today? It's the dawning of a new day. And I believe that this is a, this is a day of an awakening that God is releasing new and fresh things in our lives today. But uh, as we proceed down the page, the caption says, Abba, Father. And it takes us into a place of endearment, recognizing that the Spirit of the Lord cried within our spirits, Abba, Father. And it goes, thank you for this day you have blessed us with. And so as I'm sitting in that little space with the Lord, I usually will just take time to thank the Lord for this day. Thank him for this morning's rising, last night's lying down, thank him for the activity of my limbs, thank him that I was able to get out of bed this morning, thanking him that I have ears to hear even when the phone beeps, uh, thanking the Lord uh, for the sanity of my mind, thanking him for food, clothing, and shelter, thanking him for help, thanking him for family, friends, and loved ones. You know, we can thank God for Oh my goodness, the rest of the year not run out of things to be thankful for. Thanking God for running water. You know, somebody don't have that privilege today. Or thanking God uh, for strength, praise God. Thanking God for his power, for his peace. And, and so I thank God and spend time thanking God, you know. And somebody said, well, I would like to draw closer to God. Well, this is one way to draw closer to the Lord. Just taking your time into it, engaging the Holy Spirit, recognizing that uh, you are not alone, that greater is he that is within you than he that is in the world, and entering into the presence of the Lord. And then, you know, it says, thank you for the, this day you have blessed us with. This is the Lord's doing. This day is the day that the Lord has made. It just didn't come about. But the Lord has made it. And you know, he declared our end from the beginning. You know, he already knows what we're going to do in this day, what we're going to say in this day. He knows whether we're going to ask him for strength to enjoy this day, for wisdom this day, or what have you. And so we meditate here for a while. Then we move to the next line. The early morning smell of the dew. I begin to thank God for the early morning smell of the dew. I remember years ago when I was young and my daddy worked at night and he came home that next morning and I let him in and I looked out and the grass, blades of the gr uh, grass had dew all over it. It was just saturated and the drops were just uh, just there just waiting to moisturize uh, the rest of the grass and uh, I began to think, wow. And then all of a sudden, it looked like I was sweeped up to heaven. And I began to think about what our heavenly home must look like. I mean, the beauty of that moment. Who but God would think to allow dew to saturate the grass? Who but God would think of you and I and do something so intimate in that moment that we could behold and we could see? You know, the seer in you will come out at those times. And you begin to see there's more to this than meets the eye. You begin to see the inside scoop that God has signed his signature. He has put his thumbprint upon the scene, upon this blade of grass, upon the dew, praise God, for you and I to engage, to look at his goodness to us. Oh, I could just stay in this spot, but let's move on. And then I thank God for the aroma of coffee beans perking. Just to think that God would be so intimate with us, that he would put a smell and aroma in coffee beans. And you know, I don't know your favorite beverage to drink or what have you, but I like to put on coffee in the morning. I think I like the smell of it more than I like the taste of it. It's something about the aroma going through the home. And I think who but God would be so 
personal, would be so detailed with us. You know, this saying, God, that's detailed with the rose, that he would put a fragrance in the rose just for you and I to enjoy. But again, there's more to the rose than meets the eye. We look at the details of that rose and how it has the bud and it begins to bloom and the how the petals begin to fall back and the colors of the roses and oh my goodness who but god could create such a magnificent treasure for you and i to enjoy and it lets us know if he is that detail about the rose how detailed he must be about your life about my life I believe he wants us to be detailed with him and invite him in to our lives. Invite him in and share life with him. Give him the details. Share our heart's desire with him. I believe he's just that kind of God. So we're going to move on, praise God. Um, the sound of family stirring. Oh, and those that have little children or grandchildren, the patter of the little feet uh, stirring through the house in the morning or what have you, or coming in, waking you up for morning breakfast. Uh, what an honor, what a privilege of that wonderful cry of that baby in the morning waking you up. I know you're a bit sleepy, but uh, it's time to wake up. And you wake up, praise God, to that beautiful sound. Look at God. What an awesome God that he blessed us to rise up and our circle was not broken. He blessed us to rise up and look at our loved ones. He blessed us to rise up uh, with thoughts, praise God, of loved ones that were here um, but now have passed on, praise God. Precious memories, praise God. God is into the details and you know memories will feed you. Memories will speak to you, praise God. I remember years ago my dad used to say so many wonderful powerful things about life and uh i tell him something that was going on the latest or whatever and he would say well sugar we just gonna pray about it uh he would say things like a heat sees but a few knows um um uh, he would say things like uh some people you have to feed out of a long handle spoon so many wonderful things that my dad used to say but thanking God for stirring up precious memories and thanking God for blessing us to be thankful that things, as my dad used to say, are as well as they are. Praise God. Amen. Moving right along. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. Uh, the hint of the fragrance of flowers in the air. I remember when I was young and my mom used to send me to the store and on the corner of this pathway when we would go to the store, there was this lady's house and she had roses all around. There were so many roses. I've never seen a house since with so many roses. And why is it that I can never forget that? How is it that the seer in me saw that there was something special with this sight? And how is it that the fragrance of those roses would just reach my nostrils? And to this day, I can still smell the fragrance of those roses, praise God. And you know, roses don't smell today like they used to. But the beauty of that moment and passing by and the fragrance, the air taking that rose and through the air, the fragrance of that rose and God allowing us to smell it. And then it immediately takes us to that there's more to life than we know. There's got to be a God somewhere. Oh my goodness. Are you sitting out on your front porch and all of a sudden the wind blows and there comes a breathe hint of a honeysuckle flower. Oh my goodness. What treasure. What treasure. Could it be that we're allowing the real treasure of life to pass us by? Sometimes we can get distracted by other things, but God has some treasure. Or rising up in the morning, there's a passage in here about the birds singing. And rising up in the morning and the Lord having the birds sing at your window early in the morning. Is there anything more refreshing and wonderful and glorious? God is into the details of life. And he wants that smile on your face to go all the way to your heart. He's into the details of life. He wants you to know it's not too late. 
that he has a plan, that you have a future hope and expected end. He wants you to know that you can do it because he said you could do it, because he's your strength. He wants to know that if you're feeling weak today, he said, let the weak say that I am strong, that it is, it is important what we say. God said, I know you may be feeling a little weak or tired, but say you're strong. Say it. Talk it. Remember when in the beginning the earth was void and there was darkness upon the face of the deep. God began to speak. The Spirit of God was moving on the face of the water and God began to speak. I sense the Spirit of the Holy God moving in your life right now. I sense him moving and that he wants you to begin to rise up and say that you're strong. Say that you can do all things through Christ that strengthen of you. I sense he wants you to rise up and claim that blessing. You know, the scripture the Lord was sharing with me, uh, 2 Timothy, I believe, 1 and 7, God has not given me a spirit of fear, but a power, love, and of a sound mind. He said, now you focus in on, I've not given you a spirit of fear. But he said, I want you to focus in on what I have given you. And that's the spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. I want you to think on that. I want you to meditate on that. I want that to be your being. I want you to walk in that. The, a spirit of power, love, and of a sound mind. That's what we have. That's our inheritance from the Father. That's our daddy rising up on the inside of us. And I just, since he's so into the details today that he's saying, I want you to be careful what you say, that words matter, and begin to speak life. Oh, speak is a new day. Speak that dream. Make yourself, press yourself. Just do it. Push yourself. We got to open our mouth. Remember, what would have happened had God not spoke? What would have happened if he not released the word? released his word. He released his word, praise God, and things happen. It's time for us to release his word. You know, I just get a sense that this is going to be the greatest ending to a year that we've ever seen, that 2019 we're going to see things that we've not seen before. We've been believing God, expecting and everything. God has a plan. It's the most exciting year. This year is going out in a blast. And next year is ending even better. Right down to the ladder. It's time to declare that thing. It's time to decree that thing. Well, you know what? I'm going to let you go. I know you got things to do, but thank you. And don't forget to stop by Amazon.com and get my book, Overflowing Communion by Veronica B. It will bless you. It's a conversation piece. It's something to take you into the presence of the Lord. Uh, you know, where you don't do business as usual, you don't do church as usual, you don't do devotion as usual. You talk to God about life. Yeah. God bless. I'm out of here. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.